Once you have signed up for and logged into Podio, you should be taken to a screen that looks very similar to this one. Now, if this is the first time that you are going through Podio, when you access areas for the first time, you may see a little pop-up box that will provide some helpful tips and information on what you can do in that particular area of Podio. So we may see those as we go through in my demonstration here, and you may see those on your screen. So it might be helpful for you to read through some of those. In this video, I want to go over this top bar here in Podio, this blue bar. This is going to follow you everywhere you go in Podio, and it allows you to quickly access some of the most important areas of Podio. You'll notice all the way over to the left, we have this area that says go to a workspace. And if I click on that, I get a little box that drops down where I can create workspaces and so forth. I'm going to go over workspaces in depth in the next section of this video series. So stay tuned for that. But moving along the blue bar here, the Podio button up here at the top will just take you to the home page as will this home button. They take you to the same place right now and it will take you to where we are right now so you'll be able to see this activity stream which I'm going to talk about in detail in the next video but it basically shows you everything that's going on within your organization. Also up here on the blue bar we have quick access to the contacts section which is where people who are within your organization and have a Podio account, they will have a profile here in Podio and you can access it by clicking on the contacts. It will have their phone number, their address, any information that they enter. You also have a calendar location here in Podio. And as we start to create items, workspaces, and apps here in Podio, we can actually add a date to certain things. Maybe we have a follow-up call with somebody. We can add a date to that and then it will appear in this calendar section. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later on as well. The next section with the check mark is the tasks section. This is where you can create actionable items that you or another employee need to complete. And you can go ahead and you can view all of the tasks that you have open, all the ones that you've completed, and all of the tasks that you've delegated to other people. We'll be going over this section in depth later on in this video series. You'll notice that there's a big green upgrade button here. So depending on which account which pricing plan you signed up for here in Podio, you can always upgrade at any time. I mentioned that earlier in the video series. This is where you would go to do that. And then if we go all the way over here to the right side of Podio, we have a question mark, which brings us to the help and support section of Podio. So if you are looking for a little bit more information on a particular area or how to do something within Podio, that's always a good place to start. The magnifying glass is for searching within Podio, and it's a really powerful search feature. And once we start creating some stuff in Podio, we'll go back and we'll take a look at it again. But you can basically search for anything within Podio. You can search for contacts, you can search for workspaces, apps, items that you've created within certain apps here in Podio. So definitely try and make use of this search feature as you start using Podio. The little silhouette figure provides a drop down where we can access all the information about our account and we can update information about our account as well. So you can see my profile, the account settings, your billing settings. We'll go through that a little bit later in this video series as well. This little uh, symbol to the right of the My Account dropdown is the notification symbol. And this is going to be very, very important as you start using Podio. Whenever something happens within Podio that you are a part of, maybe somebody mentions you on something or somebody creates a task for you, whenever something like that happens, you will be notified up here in this notifications bar. And as we begin to use Podio, we will see how that notifications bar will show the number of notifications that we have on red. So that's a very, very important feature of Podio and you'll definitely get used to using that a lot. And then this last icon up here at the top right is the chat icon. Podio has recently released a chat feature within Podio. So all of the people that you use Podio with in your organization, you can actually chat with them right within Podio. If I click on that, you'll see that the box pops out and I could go ahead and I could search contacts. I haven't added any yet to this organization, but if I did, I could search for them and then I could chat in real time with them. So that's this blue bar up here at the top uh, in Podio that's going to follow you no matter where you are. So if you ever get lost within Podio, you can always remember to click the house icon and it will take you back to the home page.